What's up everyone? It's Fit Mastin here. Welcome back for episode 2 of New Year's Resolutioners. Today we're going to show you guys how to bench press properly and focus on a chest and triceps workout. Please, before we get into this video, drop a like down below, subscribe, and leave comments telling me what you guys would like to see in the future. So the first thing on the list is bench press. That's what I start every workout with because you want to have your most power and strength on bench press. It's a compound movement, meaning it trains two muscles at once. It's gonna train your triceps right here. That's a tricep, which ranges from the back tricep all the way to the front, and then your chest, the whole chest. And when I bench press, I keep my grip neutral. Which They have markers on the bar which, which helps your hand placement. You want your hands to be even on both sides. So I put my index finger right here and my index finger right here. Grip it. And you want the bar to touch your chest. Every, every rep, touch your chest. That's important to get good muscle contraction. Now, some people may not be comfortable putting their fingers all the way that wide. They may choose to go more inner. You may see people doing this at your gym, putting their hands here. This here trains more of your triceps. This here is a neutral grip. It's, it's pretty medium. It trains your triceps and your chest. And the wider you go, the more chest you're training. On bench press, it's important that you have a spotter. Whenever I go heavier, I always have a spotter with me so that I don't hurt myself or like get stranded with the bar on my chest and go into failure. When you're first starting with lightweight, maybe the bar, you may have, you may be wiggly and not like balanced and that's just going to take time to fix. You can't, and if you have a muscle imbalance, don't be afraid to come to the gym. Just have a spotter with you and that muscle imbalance will go away at some point. When I first started, I could, I could bench way more on my right arm than my left arm, but after a couple months, I could Believe it or not, my left arm is now stronger than my right arm, so you're never going to have like perfectly balanced muscles, but you can get them very, very close to, to that. What's important is the form. You really want to contract your shoulder blades back when you're benching, so you want to bring them together, pinch them together, and have your chest up closer to the bar, and arch your back. So I'll show you guys a rep real quick. So first, I... Tuck up my shoulder blades, and then I arch my back. Now notice, notice how I breathe when I'm benching. When I do a, when I go down, I'm breathing in, and when I bench up, I'm exhaling. So it's like this. Because when I started, I could only lift the bar mm -hmm. and a five maybe, sometimes on a good day. And I got really self-conscious about it and it made me not want to lift. But I realized that everyone starts somewhere. You have to start somewhere and no one is making fun of you. If anything, they're rooting for you because it's really nice to see other people in the gym that are trying to better themselves and it doesn't matter where you start. It matters where you're going. You can choose to have these grips inside or outside. The outside are chest dips. They train more right here on your outer chest. And the inside is, is focusing your triceps. So I'm going to show you guys the form really quick. Now it's important when you go down to go to parallel. Like that. And if these are too difficult for you, they have here the assisted part. You can choose which weight is best for you. So I'm going to put it at 46 just for demonstration purposes. And this is going to add resistance. It'll push you upwards and force you upwards. Make it easier. So now for an alternative to dips. You can use this machine right here called the tricep press. And you can adjust the weight accordingly however you want. And you just sit on the seat and you push down. That simple. And make sure you squeeze at the bottom on this. So the third exercise is chest flies. And I'm gonna demonstrate it for you guys right here. I 
normally use only 30 pound weights. It's not important to go heavy on this. Just stick with light weight and really squeeze your muscles and do good form on this. Now you can bend your elbows a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to be like this and just doing like something weird like that. You want to keep them at like a 145 degree angle or something like that. Like that. And you might feel a little bit of, uh, not pain, but you'll feel like a stretch in your outer pec on this. But that's not a problem. That's where you're supposed to be feeling it. And the next day you will be sore in that spot. So don't, don't think anything of it. An alternative to the exercise is fly slash rear delt machine right here. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you guys. So when you bring it in, you really want to squeeze your chest together and really feel the squeeze. That's what you want out of this machine. If you don't squeeze, you're not gonna get any benefit out of this machine. At the end of this, you'll be really pumped and you will feel it in your inner chest right here. So the fourth and fifth exercises are overhand tricep pushdowns and underhand tricep pushdowns. We're going to superset these two together, which I explained in my last video. So the first one we do is overhand tricep pushdowns. You want to pin your elbow at your side right here, bring it to here, push down and squeeze at your side. Now again, we're gonna do three sets of 10 on both arms. Make sure you do both arms. So I do go and do this one like that, 10 on that. And then I would come over here and I would do, I switch, see beforehand I had it like this, over, overhand. Now I'm just flipping my hand under like this, underhand, which trains a different part of your tricep entirely. The first one, like this, was training this part of your tricep. Now to build a full tricep, which is two thirds of your arm, by the way, it's not biceps, you gotta train your triceps. That's how you get big arms. Now you switch to here, it trains the under part of your tricep right here. This is what it trains now. Three sets of 10 on each. Again, bend your elbow at your side and do your reps. Now, of course, do your other arm. You can't skip one arm. And voila, now we're on to our sixth exercise. So if you have a muscle imbalance, like I talked about earlier, maybe those one arm ones aren't working for you, you can always do the overhand ones with this attachment, my favorite attachment of all time. It's really comfortable for the wrists, especially if your wrists hurt you doing like this. So you bring both hands now into the equation and do it exactly like you would the other one, keeping your elbow, both your elbows pinned at your sides and feeling that squeeze at the bottom. So that's an alternative to the underhand ones. And of course, if you're feeling like doing a long workout that day, you can do both the one arm one, underhand, overhand, and you can add in this one as a third exercise entirely. Wow. Wow. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and are reaching all your goals for this new year. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so up in this corner. Can we get to 20 likes on this video if you want to see episode three, back, biceps, and shoulders, and I'm out.